So here we are, folks. Finally, it's time to show you the final result. This is the front. What we've done there, we've got stickers on the front, something a bit different. The sign there looks good. And just got the seats and the high bar at the front for the girls to sit on and some customers as well, of course. Now, PIM has been open for a couple of weeks already. It's not every night, but when she can, because like so many bars, she's struggling to get staff at the moment, but she's opening from time to time. It's, that's up to her, it's her bar. I've got nothing to do with the running of it, obviously. Uh, of course, I'd like to apologize for the long wait. I'll show you why we were waiting so long once we go through the door. So up the steps. Here we go. All right, so that sign there, the big epic sign, it's coming out a bit yellow in this video, but it's actually bright red, the same as the side there. That's better. And this is the one we've been waiting ages for, just panning around. Pool table in place, bar, we've got pimps and bar runners, and look, this is the light feature. It does all kinds of things. Apparently there's 180 programs on it. That costs 17,000. Um, we're waiting for Wi-Fi, so we can't actually program it properly yet. But when we do, it's gonna flash in sequence and do some more interesting things. There's the fridge. We've got a sticker on the front there and the side a black sticker just to make it look a bit newer and a bit more in keeping of the bar itself. Pim stocked up on some booze, that's great. I'm just waiting for these lights to change. I'll get rid of that white color when we do the programming. There we go. So yeah, it does, it does a lot of things. Moving along, shelf for the pool table, the sink is in place. What we did, because of these low ceilings, we got this padding. So it won't stop you from getting a bruise, but it'll probably stop you uh, losing about four pints of blood and some mind your head signs as well. Here's these tables with bar runners as well. Really came out well, they did. Very happy with those. And on this side, a couple of uh, loose tables as well. There's some empty beer bottles in true Thai style. Things just get dumped anywhere. Uh, another, mind your head, <laughs> it's quite low there. Toilets, now what we did do, we got a bit annoyed with the builder because he put in a really small urinal and sink. So we've got a bigger urinal now and a bigger sink. And all someone's got to do is actually take that stick off it. Toilet, pretty much as is. Right, quickly going to always upstairs. I'm really happy the way this one come out. Those green lights absolutely set it off beautifully. There you go. We've got the dancing pole there. We've got a sofa, two sofas up the back. Pim says she's gonna get a curtain for that as well when she's ready. She's just not quite sure how she wants to do it. And a couple of little small side tables, obviously, for people to, to rest their, their beer on. Okay, looking downwards on the bar. Remember that? Remember the picture from the first video with just an empty shell, nothing in it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit different. So look, I'm not saying it's the best bar in the world, but I'm, I hope it's, I've demonstrated what can be done with a little bit of a time, effort, and money. I wish Pim all the success in the world. I won't, as I say, have anything to do with the running of it, it's her baby, she can get on with it now. I hope she makes some money. And uh, I hope this bar you know, becomes popular. That's about all I have to say, guys, except for thank you so, so much for watching this. Uh, if anyone does want any advice or tips about what I've learned uh, in bar renovations, please feel free to contact me. Or if you're on the ground, come and visit me at Dive Bar. If you're, uh, if you're in town. As far as the dive bar goes, we're still saying we're hoping to open on the 15th of Jan. Again, waiting to see if this Omicron nonsense takes on a bit of another, another sinister turn. <laughs> okay, thank you very, very much. Bye. Go through the final numbers. Right, most of this you already know. General build, 115. Aircon, 34. 
painting the old barn, 6,000. The metal work, 22. Woodwork, 13. The special uh, LED light and light box came in a bit cheaper at 15. The special light behind the bar is 17. Music and speakers, as we said, big saving, just 1,000 bar spent. Accommodation and furniture, 22,000. Moving the bar and other small building jobs and putting the new awning up was 4,500. The window stickers, window art, you're gonna see those in a minute. They're pretty special. I guessed 8,000, it's actually 10, so a bit more. The pool lights were 3,700. They're miscellaneous, the small things. The fridge did need a regas and a new fan. Some light stuff, hardware, screws, nuts and bolts, brackets, so little bits and bobs, 5,700. We always have pencil dinners, 50,000 for the salvage of the old furniture and stuff from Pim's old bar. And then we've got another little thing, signage and stickers. We had to get made up some mind your head stickers and toilet signs and little stuff like that. That come in for 2,000. So, the final building costs, what we would have spent was 321,000 baht. Remember the licenses and the deposits and also the uh, business interruption insurance was 100,000 and PIM has gone out and spent around about 50,000 on stock and getting the bar set up. So there we go guys, look at this. 471,000 baht, we've done it. Tiny little footnote, she's gonna go and buy uh, three beds, some curtains, and also the speakers will need replacing in the not too distant future because they weren't brilliant. So there's 20,000 there. She's gonna spend that when she starts making some money. Overall, still under the half million. Wow. Thanks again for watching. I look forward to any comments or, or questions you might have. And of course, I look forward to meeting you in the future.